Yes, a very good morning. How are you doing today? My name is uh, Melas Milo, aka Fula, and you're welcome onto this platform. This is at uh, Buzz UG, and in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications on TikTok. I'm Melas Milo, aka Fula, and uh, I'm right here to keep you posted about those big stories making headlines in the country. Now, the UPDF spokesperson, that is a Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, has confirmed that uh, the bodies of uh, the UPDF soldiers who were recently killed in Somalia will be in the country this week. Yes, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, the spokesperson of uh, UPDF, has confirmed that uh, the bodies of uh, the UPDF soldiers who were killed by the Al Shabaab militants in Somalia last week will be in the country this week. Uh, he was in a phone call interview and uh, he did not reveal the exact date or day when uh, these bodies will be right here. And of course, uh, we all know that uh, this week, uh, President Museveni said that we lost 54 UPDF soldiers and uh, those are the bodies that we expect to see at Entebbe International Airport right there. It must be this week when we will be receiving the bodies of uh, these gallant UPDF soldiers who died in Somalia after attacked by the Al Shabaab military. I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Well, the latest update I'm getting right here on the Buzz UG is indicating that uh, we have lost uh, the former uh, the former secretary at the Bank of Uganda, that is uh, Mr. George William Nyeko. Yes, uh, Mr. George William Nyeko, right there on your screen, has died, and uh, reports have indicated that he succumbed to Kasa. He's been admitted at uh, International Hospital Kampala for you know quite some time, and uh, the reports we are getting have indicated that uh, this big man has died. He worked at uh, the Bank of Uganda for about 32 years and uh, he retired in uh, 2015. May his soul rest in peace. Now, in other news, uh, Uganda police has confirmed the arrest of uh, the employer and the employees of uh, the mobile money shop that was uh, recently raided in Kalisizo by armed robbers. We all must have watched that video that circulated on uh, different social media platforms. Yes, uh, the armed robbers raided uh, a mobile money shop in Kalisizo and uh, reports have indicated that they took off with uh, 150 million Uganda shillings. Now, Uganda police has confirmed the arrest of the employer who has been identified as Maurice Luanka and the lady in that video has been identified as Namaganda Kathy and then the guy in that video has been identified as John Bosco. Yes, these guys have all been arrested to help police in the investigations and uh, I remember last week on uh, different social media platforms people said that uh, that woman could be knowing something about that robbery because uh, if you look very well he was uh, overlooking outside as if she was expecting some people to enter and then before the shooting happened she fell down and uh, that is why people said that she could be knowing about that robbery right there in Kalisizo but uh, Uganda police has confirmed the arrest of these three people and uh, we hope to get to the bottom line of uh, this matter that is the latest update coming in from that side of uh, Masaka sub-region Kalisizo. Well, finally, uh, President Museveni's government has been given only 10 days to defend the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023 in the courts of law. Yes, the Attorney General has been served and uh, he's been given only 10 days to defend the Anti-Homosexuality Act in the courts of law. We all know that uh, President Museveni recently assented to this act and, uh, you know, very many people internationally, uh, including the President of America, Joe Biden, uh, said that uh, his government is uh, considering application of uh, sanctions on uh, some Ugandan government officials if uh, President Museveni withholds his decision. And uh, some other organizations said that uh, they are considering withdrawing their support for Uganda if uh, President Museveni maintains his decision on this matter. But President Museveni said that, hey, Ugandans, don't worry. Everything is in control. Don't worry about anything. Everything is in control. Yeah, so... We are waiting and of course uh, I'm following up on this story very closely. I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Make sure that you subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications but also follow me on TikTok. I'm Melas Milo aka Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you.